Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. What happens in Greece doesn't stay in Greece, reluctant marriage officials, and who is the father someone finds out are all revealed in the Days of Our Lives recap for Friday, September 22. Maggie Kyriakis is a reluctant wedding officiant. Theresa Donovan wants to talk about what occurred in Greece, and someone discovers the father. Theresa buttonholed Alex Kyriakis as soon as he entered the house after returning from Greece. She arrived at his house shortly after he pulled in his suitcase because she wanted to discuss what happened in Greece. Justin Kyriakis received the recovered briefcase from Victor Kyriakis from Brady Black in the interim. Justin was shocked that the bag hadn't been opened, and Brady thought the contents would reveal some new information. They have no idea that Theresa used it. While this was going on, Vivian Alamein arrived to the Titan offices and replaced Maggie's nameplate with her own. She did succeed in keeping a secretary, who contacted her and instructed her to open the door. Philip Kyriakis was the one who asked her impolitely what she wanted. When he pulled her away after she flung her arms around him and addressed him as son, she explained that he was her first option for a right-hand man and that she needed one. While trying to fall asleep elsewhere, Xander saw frequent flashbacks of Sarah giving birth to baby Victoria, which caused him to sit up straight in bed and awaken him. Chloe Lane asked what was wrong while lying by his side in bed. Back at the pub, Brady informed Justin of what Constantin Melionis had stated. Justin then inquired as to whether Victor had mentioned the will. Brady denied it, but Constantine claimed Victor had mentioned the letter. After that, he revealed to Justin how Theresa had been stalking him and had followed him to Greece. Theresa reminded him they had sex when he asked her at Alex's place what had transpired in Greece. He said he wasn't avoiding her. Rather, he was merely fatigued from the flight home. She advised him to avoid ladies he had sex with at all costs. She said that he just had sex with her out of sympathy for her. He claimed to be having a dream while still with Xander and Clo, but Clo knew he was furious over Victor and Maggie. Xander explained to her that the dream was about Sarah and that the birth of her child had made him come to a realization about himself. Maggie was visiting Sarah and the infant Victoria Margaret Horton back at Salem University Hospital when Sarah said she couldn't wait to return to the mansion. Sarah watched a scowl appear on Maggie's face and inquired, What's that? While Maggie ooed and awed over how lovely her new granddaughter was. Sarah questioned Maggie about what was going on, but she didn't respond. Maggie didn't seem to want to worry Sarah with her difficulties, according to Sarah. But she persisted in urging Maggie to reveal. Philip questioned Vivian back at the Titan office as to why he would want to work for her given that she had borne him in her womb. Vivian said she wanted to feel connected to him again when Philip inquired. So what does he owe her? Vivian said that was what his father would have wanted, but Philip insisted that was a firm no. Although Philip said he was unaware of this, he didn't want her to kick Maggie out of the house and the group. When hell freezes over, Vivian claimed she will return her job and house to him. Maggie explained what had transpired to Sarah back in her hospital room, explaining that Vivian's divorce from Victor had never been finalized and that she now controlled everything. Maggie informed Sarah that they had launched a counteroffensive and that Brady and Alex had traveled to Greece. Sarah was shocked and agreed with Maggie that that couldn't be what Victor wanted. Brady surprisedly asked Justin, Theresa followed you to Greece. Back at the pub. She never accepts a negative response. Brady urged him to tell him about it because she wished to restart their romance. Brady explained that he was angry with Theresa when Justin inquired what he wanted. Justin responded that if he had instructed her not to come, it makes sense. Brady told Justin, and when she approached Alex, she threw herself at him. This infuriated Justin since he didn't want her to get her hands on his son. What was Theresa talking about when she said, Do you think I took advantage of you? Back at Alex's house? No, she had taken advantage of him, Theresa retorted. Back at Sander and Chloe's house, 
Xander claimed that Close holding Sarah's other hand while he assisted Sarah in giving birth revealed something to him about her. Clo wasn't envious as he stood there assisting his ex-wife during a stressful and dangerous situation. She also offered comfort to Sarah. This much impressed him, and Clo claimed that it provided a woman who was utterly terrified confidence and bravery. Clo was very impressed by Xander's decision to put his past behind him in order to give Sarah a sense of security. Xander and Clo exchanged kisses and declarations of love. Back at Alex's house, Theresa claimed that she fell into temptation and used him to improve herself. Alex claimed that Brady was a jerk and that he didn't mind being exploited. He said that Theresa is a gorgeous woman and that what happened wasn't because he felt sorry for her. Theresa claimed the sex was fantastic, even if it was pity sex. Alex also reminded her of how strongly drawn to her he was. Back with Brady and Justin, he informed Brady that Justin didn't appreciate Theresa using Alex to make Brady jealous and that he wasn't going to stop Alex from dating Theresa. Theresa wasn't healthy for him, according to Justin, who added that Alex was working in counseling to have healthier connections with women. Philip informed Vivian to stop contacting him once they were back at the Titan office because his employment there contributed to his admission to a mental hospital. He was assured by Vivian that she was giving him more than just a job. She was giving him Clo. Clo indicated they needed to go on with their day while Sander and Clo continued their talk in bed. Sander concurred and desired a wedding that day. Rex entered Sarah's hospital room and Sarah informed Victoria that Daddy was there but the baby was asleep. Sarah inquired as to whether Rex desired to wed on that particular day. Rex suggested getting married today. Maggie could preside, and he could obtain the license. Maggie, who was still in the room, refrained from responding. Sarah longed to know her mother's thoughts and wanted to know why she was silent. Maggie admitted that while she would keep the paternity a secret, she didn't believe it was appropriate to keep Sander away from the child, even though she loved the baby and Sarah. Maggie felt that marriage was sacred and couldn't perform this fake wedding with good conscience. She stormed out. Philip declined to respond when Vivian asked him if he had heard her at the Titan office. He was informed by Vivian that Chloe is engaged to Xander and that if he accepted the position, he might be able to get her back. Doesn't he want food, music, dancing, and guests? She inquired when she was back with Chloe and Xander. Xander claimed he didn't have any pals he could invite and that he'd only wanted her. Maggie has too much going on, Xander responded when Chloe inquired about her. Brady and Justin were having a talk at the Brady pub when Justin asked Brady if he wanted to be present when Maggie opened the briefcase. Brady advised Justin not to worry about Theresa and Alex since he believed Maggie deserved some privacy at that particular time. Maggie was living with Doug and Julie at the Horton homestead when Justin left to deliver the briefcase to her. If she needed him to be present to translate any legalese, he would stay with her. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.